Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. If you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I'm disgusting. Look at me. I don't raise any false flags here. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly, or Tom fondly. Hello, my little chipmunks. I love your adorable little delicious faces because it's our favorite time on this channel. It's where I have one too many adult libations and just get really rude. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to New Nonsense Makeup Bingo. And if you've never been here, and this is the first video you ever clicked on, one, I don't talk like that all the time, but sometimes I slip into character and I cannot help it because I'm Margaret Candleflame. Like I just I literally had two sips of my drink tonight and I'm already like off the walls. This is gonna be a good day. If you're not familiar with New Nonsense Makeup Bingo, this is the idea created by the wonderful, the beautiful Emily Hanhan, -Han, the adorable darling dumpling here. Emily created this wonderful idea where basically this is like a new makeup release video except we have a couple of adult libations and we play bingo with the new makeup releases. If you're ever interested in wanting to play, everything will be listed in the description box below. Now this started with just Emily and I, but now we've recruited some new blood in our lives. And that is Audra from Audra at Home, this wonderful little pumpkin that I want to eat, and Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, this adorable little cosmic brownie right here. Definitely go check out their videos and tell them I said, hi girl. Hi. Make sure it's like the Mariah Carey, you know, like glass is breaking and a dog is screaming. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> make sure it's one of those hey girl hangs. Anyway, here are some of the images that I may or may not be speaking about tonight. Here's my bingo card. Yeah! And without further ado, welcome to motherfucking new nonsense make a bingo. Instead of drinking my normal vodka, I decided to switch it up and drink margaritas tonight. So this is not gonna end well because, <laughs> because Alex is making me double and um, it was up to here before, but it took me a long time to get through that intro. So. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting or bad. Either way, I am so sorry in advance. So, without further ado, why don't we just pull some motherfucking makeup, grab yourself a drink or an edible, and let's get shitty. All right, so tonight I have my normal setup. I have my little iPad, I have my cell phone. I have my glasses because I can't see like I used to. Okay, that's better. I also sound like a little old woman today. Oh, bitch. Okay, let me tell you something. So it's actually what I currently have on my eyes today. And let me zoom you right in, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to call you bitch. It's a, little, it's a little too early. I mean, my lover. Okay, so these are the new Lethal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadows. Please don't mind this eye. I poked myself in the fucking eye with the eyeliner brush and it will not stop crying. So <laughs> if it looks a little janky, it's totally my error. But uh, yeah, I actually got these in PR and I've been playing with them. And uh, the one I have on my eye is Payload. It's what I have. It has like this really cool, I don't even know. Listen, I, I just, I'm drinking. I don't know. It has a fucking shift, okay? <laughs> 
Oh God, hold on. Let me tell you the actual shift of it. So Payload has a shift from orange to pink and violet to a dark blue and a peacock teal. It's really, really, really fucking pretty. So they actually sent me three shades. So I have Payload. I also have the shade Inthropy, and then I have Gateway in the inner corner, but I'm still playing with them. I wanted to kind of test them out today. So far, so good. I'm liking them, but I will have a review on my channel probably either later this week or the following week. So these Glitch Eye Shadows, they were released on April 10th. They range anywhere from $21 to $24 a piece. Of course, if you don't know, I do have a coupon code with them. I don't make any money off the code. It's just purely for y'all to save 10% on your order. Use the code garbage if you are ever so interested in checking this out. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I shit my pants because I was like, uh, now here's the thing. I feel like in their Velvet Dusk palette, they had a trichrome, which I thought was supposed to be multi-chrome. Apparently trichromes and multi-chromes are completely different. I was like, uh, 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 uh. I have been kind of waiting for them to come out with some sort of multi-chrome. I'm a little surprised that it's liquid. I thought it was going to be a traditional powder one, but in any case, my dick is hard as it always is for Lisa Cosmetics. <laughs> what can I say? I just love my baby. Anyway, I'm so happy that I have them in my hands. So thank you, Lisa, for sending them my way. Definitely check out the review later this week. With that said, on my bingo card, we're going to call this all the multi-chromes. Next. Yeah! Oh, bitch. Okay. Can I tell you, fucking, I'm so mad about this. So this is from Gucci. This is the Rouge Debut. Oh, I sound like such an asshole. Brilliant Glow and Care. Okay. First of all, I fucking love Gucci lipsticks. They're fucking great. They're phenomenal. They have one of the best lipstick formulas I have ever tried, okay? I am fucking obsessed and in love with them. So when I saw that they were coming out with a new lipstick, I was like, fuck yeah. Oh my God, yes. I'm gonna, they're all mine. I'm gonna fucking get them all. But I decided to wait for the Sephora Rouge sale. I shit you not, I placed my order at seven o'clock in the morning. They were all sold out. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? So these lipsticks retail for $42 a piece. It's expensive, but they're fucking worth it though. And these are just so fucking pretty. Aesthetically, I love where Gucci is going because it just looks so fucking just powerful bitch like, you know what I mean? Like I want to be at a restaurant if we could ever fucking, you know, have nice things ever again. <laughs> I want to be at a restaurant and be like, let me take out my Gucci lipstick and use it because it's just like, it's so fucking pretty. Like, oh, the bullet is so nice. Everything about the whole experience just makes you feel like you're better than somebody. And essentially that's what we all want in life, right? We just want to be better than everybody else because fuck everybody else. That's why. Now with that said, can I tell you, I lost my mind when I was reading the shade names. Yo. Okay. First of all, my favorite shade name from Gucci is my the flame because it's such a hilarious fucking name but some of these names though let me tell you they're fucking great let me read you some of them and it makes me even sadder because i don't have any of these in my possession and it makes me really really sad lynette stone first of all lynette stone sounds like you do not want to fuck with her okay lynette stone will literally sue the shit out of you and will not be happy until the clothes off your back is in her possession, okay? That's what I love about Lynette Stone. Peggy Tope. Peggy Tope sounds like a drag queen and I'm fucking here for that one. Julie Blush. Julie Blush also kind of sounds a little drag queen-y, but I like it. My cousin Rachel. First of all, I feel like everyone's cousin Rachel is a bitch anyway. <laughs> I feel like every story that I heard my cousin Rachel never ended good. <laughs> And I'm like, bitch, I want that as a lipstick and in such a pretty fucking color. My cousin Rachel, oh, I want it. Luis Orange, that's fun. Vantine Fuchsia, oh, that's a bitch name. That's a bitch name, I love it. Emmy Petal, Princess Naram Rose. If I wore that lipstick, what I expect is to have boys fan me and feed me grapes. Who are we kidding? It's not grapes. It would be like nutty bars or some shit like that. Whatever, it's semantics at this point. The point is, I'm gonna have boys fan me. I'm a princess after all. Come on, I need these. Virginia Scarlet. Oh, that bitch has a secret and I love it. Devotion, ah, that's kind of boring. <laughs> Margaret Ruby. Margaret Ruby is the sister to Margaret Candleflame. Except Margaret Ruby knows how to fucking get down and dirty. And I'm here for it. And again, it makes me sad because they don't fucking have these in my possession. Or how about Jody Wild Mauve? I, I don't know why she has like a six shooter, like pew, pew, pew. I love it, okay? She's always in Western gear. She has a cowboy hat on. She has boots with spurs. I am here for this, okay? Anyway, 
Point is, these are not in my possession, okay? And I hate, I hate the stupid bitches <laughs> that were faster than me during the fucking rouge sale because they bought them all up. And the two shades that are available are just like meh, colors that I wouldn't really fuck with because they would just draw too much emphasis to my mouth. And nah, bitch, we're not doing that. So I have to wait. I just have to wait. It makes me sad. Listen, I know I can get them in Nordstrom. I know, but the point is the sale. I want to get them when they're 20% off. I don't want to pay full price for these. Even if they're anything like their normal lipsticks, which to me are definitely worth the price. Bitch, I still don't want to pay full price. I want to pay 20% off. Come on, fuck me. All right, anyway, all I know is I want to put this on my motherfucking face and I can't. And that makes me sad. So my bingo card, we're going to call this put this on my motherfucking face, but I can't. <sighs> Next. Oh, Milani, can I tell you, I already bought this shit. Literally just came in the mail the other day. I haven't used it. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, I love this. <laughs> Milani's eyeshadows destroy me. They hurt my eyes. They literally feel like tiny little daggers to my soul. But you know what? Sometimes people change and sometimes formulas change. And sometimes you have cute enough packaging that it makes me forget that I literally had to use eye drops for multiple days. God, they were so crusty too. Fuck, this was a mistake. Anyway, we're still gonna try it. <laughs> I have high hopes. <laughs> the color story is fun. It's basic, but it's fun. There are these nice pops of color in there. It, I feel like it's just really appropriate for summer. I also got the little fucking whatever sticks too. The little, I'm gonna call them caviar sticks. I feel like Laura Mercier made caviar sticks and I literally call anything in a stick form a caviar stick, which is bad because it's not Laura Mercier product, but whatever, they had some caviar sticks and I got those too. So I actually got all of them. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing a review on my channel soon. I just have to fucking use it. So like I said, it came in the mail the other day. I'm super fucking excited. I'm a clown, I already bought it. I'm just excited. It just looks so cute and it's just so fucking cute. Did I say cute? It's fucking cute. I'm getting drunk. Next. Yeah! Oh, bitch. Okay. Patrick Ta is coming out with the major sculpt cream contour and powder. Full disclosure, I purchased this. So during the Sephora Rouge sale, like the first day, I picked up a couple of items that I really wanted to try. I just was happy that I could just, you know, get a discount at 20%. So this is one of the items that I got. And I recently got the, where the fuck is it? Aha. From my beautiful fucking sister from Utah. Tara Lynn, my adorable little peanut. She wind up sending me actually the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette in the in the lightest shade because it didn't work for her. Because she is like a light medium goddess and I am a fucking uncooked chicken monster. This is what I've been wearing for the last few videos. I have been really fucking loving this. More so than I thought I would. I think when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay, cool. But I'm like, oh shit, this is really nice if you are a fair skin monster like myself. I wanted to get the Patrick Ta one, which I believe my girl Charlotte Holcroft, I think she either did a video on it. I saw, I saw it on Instagram or whatever and I was like, ah, that's a great fucking idea. So I kind of, I'm gonna steal her idea. So all credit's going to her. <laughs> Cause she was the first one to actually put the video up if she hadn't done so already. I don't know when my fucking Sephora thing is gonna ever come into the mail anyway, but I wanted to kind of compare the two because they're the newest uh, bronzer slash contour powder duo things that have come out. I'm loving the shit out of this. So in the Patrick Tom one, I got the lightest one and I'm just fucking excited, bro. Like I have been getting more and more and more <clears throat> gross. <laughs> I've been getting more and more into like bronzers and contours I, and I've been trying to find different things because listen, I love my Tom Ford Soleil bronzer, but I have this sinking suspicion that they are fucking never restocking it. They're gonna probably come back with a revamped version that's going to suck balls. I just, I have this feeling, okay? Like I feel it in the air. It's gonna fucking happen. Quote me today, all right? I know it. I just fucking feel it. So that's why I'm like trying to brace myself. <laughs> to try to look at some other things. Cause I'm like, all right, well, if my one thing that I use almost every day is really going to be like dead to me, then I need to find something else. But anyway, this has been fucking great. But of course I'm going to have a review on it when I get the Patrick Tile one, because I kind of want to see the difference, especially if you are uncooked chicken like myself. So with that said, I don't think I can call this anything on my bingo card, except I bought it. <laughs> it's mine, bitch. It's just on its way here. So I already bought this too. I such a monster today. I'm just gonna keep drinking though. Next. 
right, listen, I feel like a fucking clown at this point, but this is another product I literally bought during this sale. And that is the Mary Jane palette from Melt Cosmetics. Listen, here's the deal. I am obsessed with that rust palette. I think it's fucking beautiful, right? And when I saw this, I was like, Ugh. I literally came everywhere. I was... <laughs> You know what's so funny? I say this on the regular. I'm what you call a trash monster. Anyway, so when this came out, I lost my shit. And initially, I was actually interested in buying the collection through Milk because I thought the little pots were liners. I was like, oh shit, that's really cool, like a metallic liner. Honestly, I've been really enjoying Melt's liner formula in the gel pot, so I was gonna pick it up. And then I realized it was a glitter, and I was like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing that. Thankfully, this was released during the Sephora Rouge sale, so I didn't have to pay full price, so like, pat on my back for that one. But I am fucking excited. I went to Sephora today and I actually saw what the palette looks like in person and it's beautiful. It's so fucking beautiful. It had beautiful embossing and pan. The tones are just so like cool and delicious. I really like, oh, I just wanted to fucking touch it. But of course, you know, you can't do that. But it just looks so inviting. That said, I received a fucking Instagram message from my boy, Charles sent me a picture of his palette and it was like puffy vagina city. All right. The shade was like popping out of the pan and it fucking crumbled. And I was like, no, not again. <laughs> if you are not familiar with the puffy vagina syndrome, <laughs> Basically, Melt Cosmetics came out with the Smoke Sessions palette. That shit grew legs and ran out of my apartment. And I think the last time they saw it was somewhere in Iowa. But don't quote me on it, all right? Don't look at it directly in the eyes if you come across it. I heard it's murdered at least six people. Anyway, so when I saw that, I was like, fuck, like, I don't want that to happen again. I don't want that experience because it sucks. <laughs> but when I saw it in person, it looked pretty much intact. So I don't know. Um, I, fingers crossed that it works out for me, but I'm going in with no expectation. So when I go in with no expectation, that means I will not be that disappointed when it doesn't work out for me. Anyway, in any case, a review will be coming soon about it whenever the fuck I get it. But it's just so fucking pretty. I love it. It's just uh, it's such a basic ass bitch palette. I'm getting closer to 36 and all I want to do is bathe in neutrals and wear sensible shoes. All right. I'm on my way. I want early bird dinners and I want to start wearing matching track suits with my husband, Paul Giamatti. Okay. That's all we want to do. Well, no, that's all I want to do. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to do any of that, but you know how marriage is. You've just forced the other person to do what you want to do. <laughs> we love each other. I swear. We really do. Love you, baby. So what we're gonna call this shit, pretty embossing basic makeup, because essentially that's what it is. <laughs> so it's pretty basic, pretty embossing. Let's hope it works out for me, y'all. Let's wish together. Next. Yeah! Okay, when is this gonna go away? Like when is when is this when when are we done with this? Wait, did this come out already, or is this like a new thing? No, this is the third fucking collection. Okay. Makeup Revolution is coming out with a third edition of the Friends collection. Okay. Like, I mean, come on. Like, Friends wasn't even that fucking good. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, all right? It does not hold up, okay? I remember laughing when I was like fucking, what, 10 watching it? And now I'm like, oh God, you, you are all so insufferable. Insufferable little shits, all right? Fuck this. I will say though, <laughs> The lobster mirror is like, no lie, that's probably the cutest fucking thing out there. Everything else is kind of like boring, basic, which actually is very much in line with the show. So I guess good job. I don't know. I'm like not here for this. This is kind of gross. Yeah, no. So in this collection, you get the forever flawless, I'll be there for you eyeshadow palette, the we were on a break eyeshadow palette. And then there are three additional eyeshadow palettes, Joey, Chandler, and Ross. So wait, which one is the, Joey is the colorful one one Chandler's the pastel and Ross is the basic ass bitch palette interesting I mean that's kind of appropriate I would feel the sponges are kind of adorable too okay so the sponges and the mirror are the cutest fucking thing everything else can literally go fuck itself what are these things a sheet mask what the fuck what Marcel oh that's kind of actually kind of cute okay all right all right there are some things that are cute in this collection okay listen a bitch can change her mind I am a Libra all right but no seriously like I would never buy any of this stuff like it just doesn't look super fucking appealing the sheet masks are actually kind of an interesting addition because I don't 
remember ever seeing anything from Makeup Revolution with sheet masks, unless I'm crazy, which I am. I mean, fucking obviously, duh, that's the reason why you fucking watch me, because I'm a lunatic. I don't remember Makeup Revolution coming up with uh, sheet masks before. But anyway, then there's mini setting sprays. Okay, I mean, I don't know, man. I guess I just don't really understand why or why why? I, you know, I feel like makeup these days, instead of um, creating good makeup, they are just really playing on people's heartstrings and reminding them of like, you know, when they were younger and perhaps maybe didn't have to deal with the bullshit they have to deal with today. And uh, maybe that strikes a chord like, oh, you know, I remember watching Friends all the time when I was younger and it was like so good. I didn't have to deal with student loan debt or like a job that I really fucking hate or uh, being in a relationship that I really fucking don't like the person, but I'm so scared to be alone. All right, I'm going to go buy this eyeshadow palette like that's so stupid <laughs> like I don't know like I feel like it's playing on people's nostalgia of like a better time when they didn't have to deal with the stupid shit that's going on currently in their personal lives and maybe I'm thinking way too deep into this because like I said this is I am fucking ugh, I'm loving this drink right now <laughs> hmm it just feels so weird. Like all these things that are coming back from like my childhood or whatever, I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, at best the quality is gonna be okay, but how about you don't waste your money on these stupid collections where the quality is literally an afterthought because they wanna focus on the fucking packaging and just put that money to a product that, yeah, maybe it doesn't have the fucking friend's couch on there, but it's good quality. <laughs> Am I crazy? I don't know. Like, <sighs> but let me know down below if you got this fucking palette. I'm so curious. Now, if this was like a wings collection, I don't know. Okay, or Boston Common. Do you remember that show? I think it only had like maybe one or two seasons. I used to watch that all the time growing up. When I was sick, uh, USA used to have like all these like weird 90s shows like from literally like 7 a.m. to about 12 and then it would be like a JAG marathon for fucking 12 hours. I used to watch uh, Boston Common. Okay, so you know what? Maybe I take that back. Maybe if it was a show that resonated for me because Friends isn't. Okay, actually, let me take that back even further. Don't listen to anything that I'm saying. <laughs> Don't buy it. Cool. With that said, let's call this shit Makeup Revolution Go Away, because go away with this shit. But if you did buy it, let me know how the quality is, because I have a feeling it's terrible. Next. Yeah! All right, so the next one is from BH Cosmetics, and this is the Remix Dance Collection. So you have an 80s, 90s, and 2000s eyeshadow palette, all retailing for $18, and then you have the Remix Dance Brush Beat for 28. You know, the 90s palette looks the most disappointing, I think, out of the bunch. The 2000s, while albeit very fucking basic and boring, looks pretty, and the 80s palette looks stunning. The packaging reminds me of like, that's what I call music volume 565,732. That's what that reminds me of. And because of that, it's kind of giving me like a weird aversion of like, no, you don't fucking need this. Like, uh, no. And again, it's kind of going back from like the friends thing. It's like, all right, you're capitalizing on this shit now. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know. There's nothing really inherently cool about these fucking palettes. I think out of all of them, I probably would pick up the 80s, but essentially at the end of the day, it's just another rainbow palette. Even the packaging outside of it, it's not really selling it for me. So it's kind of like, all right, well, the quality, I feel like usually BH quality is very good. Like, all right, I'm gonna get a solid palette, but it's like a palette that I feel like I already have technically. And the color stories are not unique enough in my opinion for me to want to pick it up. Does that make sense? Like they're pretty, but it's like, yeah, that's what I call music volume 565,732. So, mm. that said, I guess I'll call this another rainbow palette. You're not really doing anything for me. <laughs> like, it's all right, but I'm like, eh. Next. Yeah! All right, so the next one is, oh shit, Makeup Revolution coming at you again. What is this, fucking ColourPop? Jesus. So they have come out with the Revolution Glow Splendor. So these are basically large highlighters for your face and body. The packaging is very similar to Byredo in that weird kind of like acid trippy kind of way. And I like it. Like I think it's really pretty. And of course the inside of it just reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury and I guess maybe Becca in a way. But I'm 
intrigued. I feel like Makeup Revolution highlighters are very hit or miss. I've had some that have been great. Mm, great, I feel like it's not bad. Let's call it not bad, all right? Like they have been all right. Like, oh. uh, <laughs> and then I've had ones that have been like horse shit. So I'm intrigued to try it. And I think I might pick it up next time I'm, I'm doing like an Ulta order because I just want to see like how the quality is to see if they come away from it being so fucking chalky and dusty. Ugh. That's the one thing I remember about Makeup Revolution highlighters is that they're very chalky. So I'm hoping that they are slick. They look like they're going to be slick, but they might just be motherfucking chalky. But then when I look at them again, they kind of look pretty fucking chalky. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I think I... Mm -hmm. Uh, see, these are the days that I wish you can go to the store and like swatch things because it saves you from purchasing so much bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to find a review on these first before I waste my $12, okay? Some of them look chalky, but then some of them look really slick. It's an illusion here, but I do like the packaging though. It kind of feels very birado. It feels very acid trippy. I'm totally here for that. So with that said, I guess we can call this shit major copycat vibes because you're copycatting like literally the packaging and the embossing in a way. And I guess we'll just keep it moving. Next. Yeah! Okay, hip dot needs to be stopped. Hip dot keeps coming up with all these really fucking weird collaborations. First, we have the fucking SpongeBob one. Then we had Tapatio. Then we had My Chemical Romance. The Peeps one, I think that was another one. And now it's the Hello Kitty one. First of all, this doesn't even look like fucking Hello Kitty. This this looks like the Hello Kitties that I would see in Times Square. The ones that just look a little bit fucked up, okay? The ones that are obviously some questionable ass people in those fucking costumes. If you are ever coming to New York and if the world ever fucking goes back to the way that it was, which I don't know if it ever will, but if that ever does happen, if you are in Times Square and you see these fucking characters, do not take fucking pictures with them for the love of God, okay? Don't. You don't know who the fuck is in those suits, okay? That is the scariest fucking thing in the world, all right? Anyway, that's what it, this kind of looks like. This just looks like Hello Kitty fucked up, like a fucked up Hello Kitty. Like, I feel like I can see the electrical tape being held together so, like, the head doesn't fly off the body. You know what I mean? This is so weird. The fucking color story, too, is just so ugly. This has to be one of the ugliest fucking color stories. And I know I fucking tore into that whatever Natasha Denona fucking court jester palette. But this... I would happily get that court jester palette than to ever fucking get this palette. The browns look like shit. They literally look like shit in a toilet shit, okay? Not even like being facetious when I say that. I'm like, oh, that shade looks familiar. You know what I mean? The fucking pinks and the reds, there's not, it's just such an off fucking palette. And then the yellow, and that kind of like really weird, kind of like dingy, again, a shit yellow. These are the shades of food poisoning. That's what I kind of feel like with this palette. Food poisoning and then just really just unappetizing red, pink, and a maroon shade. This is, this, this is gross. This is fucking gross. <laughs> Alex, I need a cocktail. I need another drink because that just that just made me sad. In this collection, there's a lip gloss duo for $14. Kitty Eyes Eyeliner and Mascara duo for $14. Selfie, selfie palette, $24. Heart Sponge, $10. The full collection is $74. $74? $74 this thing better fuck me. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so fucking gross. This is gross, dude. Ugh. When, okay, listen, if you're going to do Hello Kitty, do it properly. Hello Kitty just gets fucked. Every time there's some sort of fucking collaboration, it has always looked like trash. I don't know why they can't make it cute. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And it kind of looks a little wet and wild to me too. Like that fucking, was it coffee cat palette? I almost thought this was wet and wild initially. Cause I was like, oh, okay. It looks like wet and wild pants, but now it's hip dot. Again, what the fuck is hip dot doing? Like what the fuck? Like I, how do they figure out collaborations? I like to think that they probably in their boardroom, they probably have a giant wheel and they fucking spin it. And then you just take turns fucking throwing darts at it and saying like, oh, okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, blink 182. Great. 
which if they did a Blink-182, I kind of want to see what it looks like because I think it would be hilarious. Anyway, these are just so like not what I thought this was going to be. I don't know. This is just really whacked out. I say no. No to this. No. Don't, don't waste your time. But if you did buy it, let me know how it is. I'm so fucking curious. I am nosy ass bitch. Don't, don't be fooled. <laughs> With that said, I'm going to call this a cash grab because that's the other thing too. When I think of makeup, I don't think of Hello Kitty. I never have. I've never been like, oh, Hello Kitty has like a hella fucking great eyelash. Like I never, actually she does really. The bitch doesn't even have lashes. The bitch doesn't wear makeup. Okay. She has fucking bows. How, why is there no bow collection? I would be more into a fucking bow collection. you imagine me with a little Hello Kitty bow? <sighs> That's fucking adorable. Somebody make a bow. <laughs> like, yes, give me the Jojo Siwa fucking Hello Kitty bow. Thank you. But yeah, I, I don't um, think about makeup when I think of Hello Kitty. If at the most, maybe lip balm or lip gloss. Cause I feel like that's kind of like preteen. You know what I mean? Like that makes sense. Anything beyond that, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? No, 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 no. Anyway, no, this is a pass cash grab. Hi. <gasps> We got a cocktail. Refill. Refill. Ole. Fiesta. Fiesta. Da -da 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 -da. I am mouthy. My husband. <laughs> Next. <laughs> It's not a motherfucking makeup bingo without our Lord and Savior ColourPop. Hello, baby. I missed you. You know what? I'm thoroughly surprised right now. This is not an eyeshadow palette. This is the Act Natural Mascara. Create the perfect wispy, defined natural looking lashes. Creamy vegan friendly formula that's smudge proof, clump free, and easy to remove. The soft flexible brush lifts and define lashes to create a soft and fluffy look. You know what? I'll give you points and I'll give you snaps because it's not a fucking eyeshadow palette. I will give you that. And it's not fucking blushes that only look good on fucking uncooked chicken. So again, snaps. I'm intrigued, but you know, I'm kind of weary when it comes to mascara because I feel like a lot of times they make like a big fucking claim and it never pans out. It's always like leaving me wanting more. And that's why I like when I find a mascara that I like, I fucking am like a ride or die for that shit. Everything sounds beautiful. As long as it doesn't make my lashes fall and it doesn't leave like little beef crumbles on my face, like I'm here for it. I want to see a couple of reviews before I purchase it. This might be a color pop product that I actually might want. I know, who am I? Because moral of the story is, <laughs> the mascara that I really like is like $72. Mama's not bankrolling like that, okay? Like I, I mean, it's a lot of fucking money. So I have been always looking for mascaras that are you know, way more affordable than that. And a lot of times things just don't do it for me. It's either they clump or they flake or they somehow make my fucking eyelashes stand straight out where it actually hits my glasses. That's creepy. So I feel like there are a few mascaras that I'm like, yes, these are amazing. So I'm kind of hoping that this is gonna be a good option for me. I really like that. It's like like wispy. I think that's really pretty. Anyway, so I am just so fucking surprised that it's not a fucking eyeshadow palette. So good job, ColourPop. Thank you for reading the room for once, or at least for this week anyway. I know it's it's all gonna go away because in two weeks there's gonna be at least 75 fucking collections that I'm going to read to filth. But in the meantime, you get a blue fucking ribbon. Okay, here you go, baby. This is all for you. Keep it up. Keep putting up products that are not high <laughs> shadow palettes. And you know, maybe, maybe people might respect you again. Just saying. Anyway, this is gonna go on my board as ColourPop because this is our Lord and Savior ColourPop. So, I love you. Next. Yeah! What the fuck is this? What is this? Okay, so when did SpongeBob become the biggest fucking thing in makeup? This is like what? The third collaboration? Do they need money that badly? I don't understand. So, uh, Okay, so Wet n Wild decided to come up with this huge SpongeBob collection. And the PR box is $51, which honestly is not that bad considering I feel like I spent like $80 on the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection and uh, half the products were garbage. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I believe the nail polish, the little brush had broke, but also stale. Like it kind of got dried out. It was weird. Anyway, the PR box, you have the Nautical Nonsense eyeshadow palette. You have the makeup sponges, which I'm not going to lie. The fucking makeup sponges are probably the best thing out of this whole fucking collection. Oh, bitch. And you have a Patrick, a SpongeBob Squidward. You have a sponge case, a sponge and brush cleaning pads and a burger shape. That's what that is. <gasps> No, stop it. I don't need this. Maybe I do. Okay, anyway. <laughs> You have a SpongeBob highlighter, a sandy round kabuki brush, a SpongeBob flat kabuki brush, and then you have a BFF and fun setting mist sprays. Yo. The sponges are fucking cute. I would feel bad using them. That's the thing about these things is like, they're so cute. I don't want to use them. But the actual sponge case though, that shit's stealing my heart. Like I, I was going to read this to Phil until I realized what was in it. And now I kind of want it. <sighs> All right. So when is this coming out? So April 18th, Ulta, and then May 2nd. Okay, April 20th is Amazon. So it's actually technically available right now in Walmart. So if you feel like traipsing through Walmart and seeing God knows what, this is currently available there. The whole collection, I don't know if I would pick up the whole collection. When Wild Eyeshadow palettes are hit or miss, sometimes they're surprisingly good and then sometimes they're like really fucking bad. I think the last one that I really enjoyed was the Pac-Man one. I wish there was a face palette. I know, I was literally gonna talk so much shit but now I'm kind of like, oh. I'm getting fond memories of the Pac-Man collection that I kind of wish I could kind of get that again with this. But okay, so here's the thing. The only thing I would actually pick up would be the sponges. Oh, the brushes are fucking cute though. No, I don't think I need the sponges. No, no, I want the sponges. I don't need the brushes. But the thing that's really interesting is the um, brush cleansing pads. Like that is fucking cool looking. Even if I never use it and I just display it as a fucking thing in the background, I kind of want it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick up like the tools part of this collection. I'm not going to pick up anything else because like, eh, like I feel like even, even if it is amazing, the color story for me is like, Eh, it's cute, but this color story also kind of reminds me of the color story from the Moschino Bear Palette. And I know that quality in that Moschino Bear Palette is fucking amazing, bitch. I don't need a fucking dupe of it, especially when I know the quality is not going to be that good. So for me, I think I'm going to get the sponges and the stupid burger thing. The burger thing looks so much fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll just pick up the fucking burger. No, I need that Patrick sponge. Do you see that Patrick sponge? He is so fat. He is so me. We are one. I need to have him. I need to have him. I need to keep drinking. I need it, it to be the 18th or the 20th. When the fuck does it come out? The 18th. Mama's gonna buy this. Mama needs this. Yeah, Mama needs this. But you know what though? At the end of the day, I feel like probably out of all the SpongeBob collabs, this is probably the one that has done the best. Meaning I feel like they had a really good representation of the show and in terms of the palette, the highlighter, like all the little things, like they put a lot of thought into it. It's good. Wet and wild. You get a blue ribbon too, bitch. Here's your blue ribbon. This looks really good. Is it a cash grab? Yes. Because again, I, when I think of makeup, I don't think of SpongeBob. I don't think of any fucking Nickelodeon cartoons. I just don't. Kind of, again, confused on why this is happening or why this is coming out. It's kind of on the same lines of like Claire's makeup in a way of like being kind of very kiddish. But again, in that same breath, this one gets the blue ribbon for probably being the most accurate to the actual show and uh, how adorable it is. So kudos to you. I'm definitely picking up all the tools for sure. The actual makeup products, I don't care, but the actual tools are really fucking adorable. So that said, I don't think I can call this anything except for adorable. Next. So the next thing is from Morphe. Oh, hello, Morphe. So Morphe is coming out with a round two of Lisa Frank, which again, I feel like this episode is just all dedicated to nostalgia. Or maybe the last few makeup bingos because it was like the Blockbuster palette. It was Lisa Frank in the past. It was SpongeBob. It was Rugrats. Like, I feel like it's just, it's been all fucking nostalgia for the past few months. Not gonna lie though. This is probably the cutest iteration of Lisa Frank shit. Like this is fucking cute. Will I buy it? No. This is fucking cute. I kind of wish it was ColourPop because Morphe is icky. <laughs> 
<laughs> like Morphe is a little icky. But I'm not gonna lie, I still dream about that stupid fucking alien palette. I don't know why, like it just looks so fucking cute. It looks so fucking cute. And I remember actually almost considering buying it and then it was sold out and I was like, oh, all right, I'll take it as a sign. But there's just something really cute about the Lisa Frank shit. <sighs> anyway, this is really adorable. So these are basically just lip crayon trios. You have a playful trio and then you have a neutral trio. What are they? Are they like lip liners or just like little lipstick thingies? It just says lip crayon trio. Okay, so I really don't know what it is. <laughs> like I don't really understand what it is. Why does the cat have a halo? That's kind of depressing, right? I don't know, like the two golden retrievers are kind of adorable. It's like, oh, golden retriever couple and they're holding a bunny. Okay, but then you have like this cat angel with a halo, which is making me feel really weird. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing a cat halo, cat angel halo ever from Lisa Frank. This is a weird collection. Now kind of looking at it a little bit further, I'm like, why do I have a cat halo? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I think with that said, I don't think I could really call this anything. The lip crayons don't really describe what exactly they are, so I'm assuming that they're maybe a lipstick. Again, A plus for packaging, you get a blue ribbon because it's adorable, but it's something that I will never pick up because fuck Morphe. Next. <laughs> These are probably the stupidest fucking things I've ever seen. So KKW came out with these eye contour duos. Basically for $24, you can <laughs> buy an additional product when in theory you could just use your existing bronzer and contour shades as eyeshadow. You're welcome, I just saved you $24. I like the quality of KKW. I have a couple of the palettes. I think I have the classic one and two. I think that's the only two palettes I have. I have some of her lip products. Do I still have her blush? Well, I think I decluttered it because it was a weapon and impossible to open. In any case, I do like some stuff from this brand. That said, this is just kind of lazy. This is really straight up fucking lazy. I don't um, see the need for this, especially when you already have things in your collection that you can fucking use. You don't need to buy an additional product. Just open your fucking drawer, Take out your Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and slap that shit on your fucking eyes. It's the same thing, okay? <laughs> The other thing that's coming out with this too is a glossy lip balm, which doesn't look very appetizing at all. It just looks very toothpastey. Not into that. The brushes are whatever, eh, who gives a shit? Okay, no, KKW always comes out with boring releases. Always so fucking boring. But this one probably takes the cake in the terms of the most boring fucking thing known to man. Because this is fucking boring, okay? This is a big old no, this is a big old pass. If you are even considering this, Stop what you're fucking doing, call an adult, okay? You need to reevaluate your life. This is coming from the bitch that is literally going to buy fucking Spongebob sponges, okay? Listen, sometimes someone has to take the keys in this situation, and I'm taking your keys if you're considering getting this fucking thing. Just use your bronzer. You know you have at least 17 bronzers, okay? Just use one of those. Bitch, it's all the fucking same, okay? This is lazy. I feel like this is something my mom would totally fucking buy into though. God, preying on my mom like that. How dare you, KKW? God damn it. All right, anyway. <laughs> With that said, we're gonna call this the basic as fuck neutral palette because I guess that's essentially what it is because technically it's, it's eyeshadow, so. All right, friend. Next. Yeah! So the next one is from Stila. <laughs> Steel Eye, um, so they come out with the Camouflage Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I can't see you. <laughs> God damn it. So there are two different ones. There's the Camouflage Beauty Eyeshadow Palette and then the Nobility Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, God damn it. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the most boring things that I've ever seen in my life. Um, the camouflage is really weird. It's a weird choice, right? That's a weird choice. I've never seen that actually. Like a makeup palette that has had some sort of camouflage to it or, yeah, I don't know. I, this is kind of weird, this one. And it feels very, um, what's the word? Fucking boring. 
I'm drunk and I wouldn't even think twice. I'd rather buy the whole SpongeBob collection three times over than to ever buy one of these palettes. The color stories are, well, okay, the top one looks slightly interesting, but when I see the swatches, I'm kind of like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know, there's just like nothing inherently interesting about it. And then the bottom one just looks awful. <laughs> It looks awful. Also, I'm very happy that they're using um, other models instead of the same model and just, you know, deepening the skin tone in Photoshop. So I, I mean, hey, listen, blue ribbon for that. I'll, I'll give you a blue ribbon for that. But this is fucking boring now. This is boring. There's nothing, there's nothing. I have nothing funny to even say about it. I kind of want to go to sleep. This makes me tired, if anything. I'm a little tired. So I don't think I can call this anything on my bingo card except I'm tired and this is gross. Next. So the next one is from Be Perfect Cosmetics. And this looks like a fun palette. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I'm a little drunk, but you know what? I kind of want to fuck with it. There's something about that like fucking Believe shade, this green shade, this lime green shimmer that I'm kind of like, put this all over my body. I'm fucking here for it. Also, what are these like little fun designs in the pan? Some of them have that speckled egg like from Game Beauty. And then they have like these little like, you know, kind of fun little toffee moments. So this palette is $29.95 pounds. Uh, I don't even know how much that is in fucking US. So this palette has 35 shades and seven different formulas. 19 mattes, six pressed pigments, five sparkly shadows, two duochromes, one matte cream with a smoky shadow base, one shimmer cream, and one shimmer gloss. I'm interested. I have been wanting to try Be Perfect for a while and I know I tried to place an order in the past and then something happened where I got a refund. So I kind of made me stop a little bit. <laughs> from wanting to pick up something else from the brand. But I definitely want to try to pick this one. I think I wanna buy this. I'm drunk. Drunk Me wants this. Drunk Me is gonna have this. There's something really kind of fun and cute about it that I'm like here for. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. She is a big bitch though. She is definitely a big bitch. No doubt about it. But I kind of wanna play with it. I also love that there are so many different finishes as well within the palette. And it actually tells you what is considered a pressed pigment, what's considered a duochrome blue bitty blop blop. That's what pisses me off about palettes. Especially like, and now I'm thinking about like the Huda palette. It was like, oh, one has like this super metallic foiled shimmery bullshit bleh, shade. And it was like, well, which one is it? You didn't tell me. I don't know, bitch, okay? I really like that they're very upfront about it. So, with that said, Drunk Me is all about this shit, and Drunk Me is gonna purchase it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Drunk Me is gonna buy it, and Drunk Me is gonna love it. Next. Yeah! And with that said, my little peanuts, that's motherfucking make a bingo. All right, which is, Okay, because I'm, ew, that's a hair. But at least it's my hair. Oh, I should have put it back in my head, fuck. Anyway, welcome. No, wait. Oh, I hit me. <laughs> I hit makeup bingo. <laughs> oh my God. Tequila is no joke, boys. Holy shit, I'm fucking poggers right now. All right, with that said, Definitely go check out my beautiful, wonderful co-host, Emily Hanhan, Audrey at Home, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. And again, tell them I said, hey girl, hey. Seriously, go tell them I said that. <laughs> and now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below what you think about these makeup releases. Are you gonna pick them up? Are you gonna skip out? Is there something you want me to purchase? Let me know down below because I love hearing from y'all little babies. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, Hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, trashy, drunk, gross, again, really trashy, again, really drunk, garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little faces, and I can't wait to gobble you all up. One day we'll get to see each other in person, and I am going to love up on you, and it's going to be adorable, and then I'm going to eat you. Kind of like a praying mantis. It'll be fun. If you want to know what is currently on my face, along with how to play the game, everything will be listed in the description box below, and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye!